Hiya. Are you fed up with coronavirus? I am. I've been stuck indoors now for four days and it sucks. Uh, today I managed to teach my year 11s for the last time via live stream and I managed to teach my year 13s via live stream and my year 11s said some lovely things and I managed to do a little bit of teaching with them. My year 10s we managed to go through a paper so I've been doing a little bit but I want to help a bit more. I'm sure there's a lot of parents out there who are terrified. They've got their children coming home for possibly weeks, months on end, and they want to make sure that their children still get an education. And I thought, why not try and do something? So as of Monday, I am going to run five math lessons during the day. I am going to run math lessons for a range of people. I'm going to run a junior uh, math lesson for years three up to six. I'm going to run a math lesson for six up to eight, years six to eight. A math lesson for years seven, seven to eleven, so foundation GCSE level, but accessible to years seven and eight as well. I'm going to do a higher tier GCSE uh, lesson and I'm going to do a, a sixth form lesson. Each lesson will be about 45 minutes and it's just a live stream on YouTube where you join in with your, stu with your students in the younger years or maybe you, you just persuade your year 10, year 11 student, just to log on for 45 minutes and I'll try and go through some things. Some of it will be sort of face to face like this, some of it will be projecting whiteboard. I'll try and make it as interesting as possible, whether that's the primary school using the, the some props as I teach them the six times table or, or maybe even force myself to sing the Baby Shark song. <laughs> uh, or maybe it's the higher tier, maybe um, we'll do some work on a building site. Um, maybe we'll have a bit of, a bit of fun. Um, some things the students might want to know about me. If, you, if you're thinking, why should I listen to this guy? Well, I've been a teacher for 16 years. Some other things you might like to know about me. I'm scared of trampolines. Yeah, they make me jump. So I'm basically hoping, hoping that there'll be some people who are thinking, oh, what am I going to do with maths? And maybe this is a chance for me to help out in some way and keep myself amused during the day. So from, from next Monday, I'm going to try and live stream and... It'd be great if you'd maybe just join in, join join me. You'll be able to pause the, the video at any time to copy down notes, to try questions, to re-go over questions. You can pause, you can rewind. I'm gonna try and see if there's if there's people who are out there who are interested, if there's math teacher friends, they might be able to get in the comments and um, be able to answer questions live to people, anyone who has questions, and I'll try and go back through anyone who's stuck after watching the videos and see if I can respond to questions live. It's something, obviously, I wasn't expecting to ever do. Uh, it's not for profit, it's not for money, it's just with these difficult times, why not try and do something a bit different? So if you like the idea of this, or maybe you know someone who, who likes the idea of this, maybe that you know some parents who might desperately be looking for support with their maths, with, with maths for the, their students at home, let them know, and I would love to uh, be of some assistance if at all possible. So the first time, I'm going to put an, uh, a notice out about this on the channel, but the first lessons on Monday I'm going to try and do, I'm going to do uh, half an hour on the six times table uh, from 10 o'clock till 10.30. I'll teach a very good method for learning tables in a different way than just chanting them. I'll show you how you can make a, t a, a times table resource that has been very successful with some of the students I've worked with. Then I'm going to teach negative numbers. From 11 to 11.45, I'm going to do some different activities around negative numbers. We're going to look at negative numbers in a very different way. I'll talk about negative numbers using hot air balloons. I'll talk about negative numbers using um, sports analogies. And I'll try and get it so that it's something that's understood. I think it's very important to try and understand the depth behind it. So that will be aimed, pitched at sort of years six to eight. But obviously anyone is welcome to join in. I'm then going to do some foundation math skills. I'm going to start off looking at circles. So I'm going to look at the air of a circle, the circumference of a circle. I've got some songs to teach and uh, force myself through. Um, but quarter circles, um, half circles, things like that, circle problems. So we'll do some different circle things on Monday. And that will be from 12 to 12.45. Then I'll do a higher, some higher tier questions. So ideal for those students who don't know where they are with their GCSE. They don't, they've been told their exams don't count. But year 10s, year 9s as well. Anyone who's, suit, who's working at a higher, higher level, I'm going to do some higher tier questions, an assortment of higher tier questions on Monday, and then I'll start taking requests on topics that people would like to have explained. So I'll try and sort that out. And then A-level hasn't been forgotten either. There's still year 12s who still have 
want their studies to, to make sure they don't f fall behind in. There'll be year 13s wanting to make sure they catch up on things because they desperately, they don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening, but I'll be able to go through some things. So I'm going to go through some forces and equilibrium mechanics on Monday, and that'll be from 2.30 till 3.15. So look, I'm, I'm just offering a thing. I thought it would be something different. It's what I, it's the only skill I have. I can't cook your bread or or do anything else to help. I'm not uh, able to get into the hospitals and help out in that way. This is what I can do from at home. I'm going to do something different. If no one joins me, if one person joins me, I'll, I'll be able to do one-to-one -one tutoring. If I get hundreds of people in the channel, then then that would be awesome. I get to t I get to work with lots of you and you can leave comments with questions and you can pause it and find out more. Maybe see someone on, on Monday. Please subscribe to the channel. It's um, Mr. Harris Math School of Maths. I'll put a link uh, with here and um, yeah, maybe see you on Monday.